Hey y'all and welcome to Monner's Market and welcome to the Thrift Flip Thursday. This challenge is being hosted by Shana and Savannah and it is being co-hosted by Megan over at Point and Polish. These three ladies are extremely talented. There will be a playlist listed below so that you can go watch everybody who has created for this challenge today. So make sure you go watch that playlist. Now let's jump right into DIY number one. Look at this shelf, y'all. I love this shelf. I got it at the Goodwill for $3.99. Well, actually the price was $3.99. I got it for half off, so I only paid $2 for this shelf. It is large and it is very sturdy, but the paint job was horrible. It had stains all over it, it was filthy, and it just needed some TLC. That's all it needed was just a little bit of love. So the first thing I did is cleaned it really, really good. And once I got it cleaned, I took this smoky beige by Rust-Oleum and gave it a good solid coat of spray paint. Now, I did that because it really saves on your chalk paint. I wouldn't have to use two and three coats of this white Waverly chalk paint by doing that one coat of spray paint. So, after I got it painted with the spray paint and it dried, I came in, used my white Waverly chalk paint like you just saw, and gave it just one coat is all it took. And like I said, that is thanks to that coat of spray paint. I kind of found that technique as a happy little accident one day. I spray painted something that I had intended to cover with chalk paint. And then when I went back over it with the chalk paint, I was shocked at how much or how little chalk paint I used at that point. So now I use that technique all the time. So as you see, I used my truffle chalk paint to sort of distress it down a little bit and then once I got that done took it back outside and took my little sander and just sanded it down really good beat it up and roughed it back up and made it look really really vintage and rustic and then I was ready to bring it back in and use it but you do have to when you do that you do have to take a wet rag and wipe it down and make sure you get all of that sawdust back off of it again. So I did do that before I brought it back in. But once I got it wiped down, I was so excited to get it hung up on the wall. I ended up replacing it with one of my favorite shelves in my kitchen. But look at how this thing turned out. I love this shelf. I cannot say it enough. For $2, it is super heavy very very sturdy and it's a good size piece it's a really large shelf now you will see a few things on this shelf that i have made in other videos i will be happy to link those down below so that you can find out how to make that beaded garland or anything else that you see on the shelf that you like so make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this shelf and how it turned out. Do you love it as much as I do? Because I'm telling you right now, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces I have ever done. And it was two stinking dollars, y'all. Two dollars from the Goodwill. So that is my first flip for today. And we are going to jump on over to DIY number two and let you see what I have done for that one. So for DIY number two, I found this old mail holder at the Goodwill. It was $1.99 and I got it for a dollar, got it half off. So I cleaned it up really, really good. Everything you get from the Goodwill you really need to clean up because I don't know about your Goodwill, but mine are nasty. Like, it just smells nasty. 
like when you walk in, it's clean. I mean, it's, you know, it's not disheveled or anything, but I don't know. It just, every just feels so nasty in there to me. <laughs> but anyway, I clean it up really good. I took the extra pieces off, like the little sawtooth hanger and the, that's just me showing you what color paint I'm going to paint it with the black. But I ended up taking off the little, I call them key hooks. I don't know what they're called. And got it ready to paint and then gave it a really good coat of black spray paint front and back inside everything just gave it a really good heavy coat of spray paint once I got it spray painted and it dried I took it inside and gave it a fairly heavy coat like a dry brushing of the white Waverly chalk paint and then I also went back over it with a dry brushing of the truffle chalk paint and after I did that I took these little name plate holders from plaid and painted them white and then distressed them down with that truffle and then got them ready for these cute little what are they called um rub on stickers that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I put them on there and they are the easiest things in the world to apply. I did take my hand sander, as you see, and went back over it and sort of like sanded it down and roughed it up a good bit. Added all of my parts back on, my Bluetooth hanger, my little key holder things and everything, and finished applying these little rub-on transfers. They are so stinking easy to use, and I love the way they turned out. And they actually match the greenery that I got from Walmart to go down inside of this for two dollars by the way these right here are some little stars some little die cut stars that I got a few months ago at the Dollar Tree and they are so cute I haven't seen them since I got those that day but I actually got several different like stars and little butterflies and oh my gosh just so many different things there was probably ten different packs of those die cuts that I got that day. I did take what was left over on my brush with the white chalk paint and sort of brushed over these to tone them down a little bit because they were pretty dark. So I just glued those on the front of each one of those panels and then added a little star to the top of it. Added my little key hooks back on and that was it and it was all done. And then I just added my little green ring inside of it and hung it up and I don't know that I like this so much but I, I mean it's fairly cute and for a dollar I mean come on even if I took the greenery out and used it for what it is intended for to hold mail it would still be functional but I thought it was turned out kind of cute it was okay I can't say I love it like I do with a lot of things I do but it's definitely transformed. It's definitely flipped for this Thursday flip. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this shelf. You might like it. You might, you know, think that it's just awesome. But I wish I'd have went a little bit different on the color of it. But anyway, it is what it is. That is done. We are going to go jump right on into... DIY number three, which was a super duper easy, 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 easy DIY. But how cute is this little recipe book holder? I ended up paying 50 cent for it. It was a 99 cent. Again, like I said, I got it half off. I spray painted in that same Rust-Oleum 2X black paint. Didn't take but about 10 minutes to dry here in this Florida heat took it inside my paint brush was already wet from the uh, oh no I guess I did put some more paint on there I thought I was still using it from when I would did that last one but anyway regardless I used some white Waverly chalk paint to sort of dry brush over everything and then again like I did with that last piece after I got the white Waverly chalk paint on there I went over with a little bit of truffle just in spots and what that truffle does to me 
is it makes it look rusted where you just kind of hit it all over. I, don't, I didn't swipe it and wipe it like you see me doing this. I just sort of tapped it in different places like corners and stuff where it would normal rust would start. And to my eye, I think it's really cool. I think it makes it really look like it's kind of rusting up and gives it that old rustic feel. So that was literally all there was to it. I mean, how much easier can you get? And for 50 cent, my heavens, look how cute that is. Isn't that not just adorable? And here it is with a cookbook, my absolute favorite cookbook in the world. That cookbook is over 30 years old. I mean, I'm sorry, over 50 years old. And I love it. I still use it all the time. But can you see that little bit of truffle right there, how it kind of looks like rust spots? I love it. Love the way this turned out. Cannot believe I got it for 50 cent. I want to know down in the comments what you think about it. If you are here from the playlist and you've never seen or heard of Monner's Market before, my name is Brenda. My grandkids call me Monner, so that's where the name came from. And I just want to welcome you to Monner's Market today. Thank you for coming by and encourage you to hit that red subscribe button and stick around for a little bit. If you click the bell and then click all, it'll notify you every time I upload something new. So if you're here for the first time, welcome. I would love it if you would stick around. Now let's get into the very last DIY that I have for you and wrap this video up. These corbels are my favorite. I bought a bunch of them whenever I bought these and I paid 50 cent a piece for them, and I fell in love with these things. I've got so many things planned for the ones that I've found, but I'm only gonna use two today, and that's these gold ones, but they will not be gold when I'm through with them. I gave it a coat of that same black spray paint that I've been using all day, and once I got them painted, and they dried, and like I said, it does not take long here in this Florida heat. Sincerely, 10, 15 minutes and it's dry and you can continue on. I took some white Waverly chalk paint and just sort of dusted over everything and look how it brings that detail out. I mean, it's like they are coming alive in my hand with this white chalk paint. Look at the left one compared to the right one right now. Is that not the coolest thing? And then I did the same exact thing with this as I did through the whole theme, except for that first white shelf, and used the truffle to sort of make it look like it's rusting a little bit. And I love that method. I think it is so cute. And just with your naked eye to look at it, it really looks like it's starting to rust up. So it looks like it's almost made out of ornamental iron instead of the ceramic that it's made out of. I fell in love with these little things and I can't wait to do the rest. Look at this now compared to the gold that it was. I love them. I love the way they turned out. Now I am using them as little bookends for right now, but I've got so many other things planned for the other ones that I'm going to do. So make sure you watch for those in some upcoming videos. But leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about how these little things turned out. And thank you for coming to Monner's Market today. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you, Shana, Savannah, and Megan for putting this challenge on and allowing me to be a part of it. I am tickled to death to do another video and bring you my Thrift Flip Thursday items. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Your tongue's going to be all twisted up. And y'all know if you've watched me before, I normally get tongue tied. So thank you, ladies. And thank you to my wonderful viewers. If you're new, consider sticking around, subscribing. Either way, y'all give me a big thumbs up if you like what you've seen today. And y'all come back. Bye now.